Hey everybody, I'm Jordan. And I'm Lex with PDQ.com. We had a video we just did earlier on how to monitor services CPU. Yeah, if you watched that one first, you may have noticed we switched places. Did we? Yeah, it's because I know how to collect the data. Lex is going to show you how to do something useful with it. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll, we can go with that. <laughs> it, it turns out you can grab yeah. all the data you want. If you don't do anything useful with it, you it's, haven't really done yeah, anything. It's so, kind of like buying cheese and leaving it in the fridge till it goes so, bad, right? So take the clay and mold it into mold something it, beautiful. Mold it into something beautiful. All right, uh, let's just pop open uh, again the video earlier, monitoring one. Uh, we'll show you how to get this data. It is a the monitoring scan profile right there. Now, the data that's collected... In this case, we're looking for, I'm going to open up Bugs Bunny and PowerShell Scanners. There it is. So we were looking for VMware work tools. Uh, we're looking to see if Notepad's running, a few things like that. Uh, again, you can also go after, like, if your drive is filling up, you can actually auto-remediate that. Yeah. So uh, this one, it shows mm -hmm. three options, a stop running or self-explanatory. Yep. If it's something that's not a VM, it doesn't have VMware tools, it'll just say the service does not exist. So that way you can exclude those from your collections as well. So just, you know, to make this easy and kind of understandable, we're going to go build a collection to find all the machines that do not, uh, that have VMware tools stopped, right? So VM tools is the name of the service, stopped. Stop. That's, that's professional naming right there. Wow. Did you? Even, We're not worried about the typos. We're just talking about how the title itself is just so amazing. good. So good. All right. So we do have, we'll check it out, timestamp, pretty cool. But what we really need is right here, VM tools service. And we want that to... I think equals in this case. It's not. There's not going to be any variety. Okay. Time to, if equals if I can actually type it right. So <laughs> let's find out. Stop. Starts with ST. Starts with, yeah, there you go. <laughs> stop. VMware tools, Stop. I guess we'll find out if it's case sensitive or not. It's not case sensitive. Well, that's good to know. There you go. Well, check it out. Bugs Bunny. Surprise, surprise. Would you believe that I actually went and stopped that so we had something to show? It's almost like we did some prep. Wow. That's, well, that's a first. That's why we're here being the professionals we are. That's a stretch. But <laughs> okay. All right. So what I want to do is anytime I find VMware tools stopped, I want to start it. So to do that, uh, Jordan and I had this debate on the best way to do it. And, of course... The best way to do that is probably PowerShell. Always. There was no debate. It's I always. just said, can we do it? And he said, yeah. Okay. What we did debate is, do we just try starting it once, or do we try to start it a couple of times? If it doesn't start, do we email somebody? And that's what we ended up with right here. Jordan, you want to talk about this one? If, if you want a quick one, it's just going to be start-service and then VM tools. There what this go. one's going to do is it's going to try to start it three times, and if it can't after three times, it will email you saying, this one can't be, this one can't be started. That way... Uh, if it can run, it's going to run. If it can't run, it's going to let you know that you might have something you have to do on your side. It's just kind of a, a, an extra layer of protection of if you don't have to look at it, you don't you don't want to. So now what I did it. was I, I you want to pause this so you can get this. Do we have this available? I'm not sure if this one is. It will be. Yeah, we'll pause it. Otherwise, you can actually copy this. Yeah. All right, and all it does is it. Uh, gets the service and sees what the status is, and if mm -hmm. it's not set to running, then it will, it will set a count to zero. It will try, and it's going to basically do that attempt until the result comes back that you want. So it's going to try to start it. Uh, it's going to increment that number. It's going to try that many times to get the result of when it does. You did, you did put a pause in there, right? You're yeah. Just like, try, 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 and then be done. Uh, yeah, five seconds okay. to the pause. So this, since the, that service starts, if it's a service that takes a long time, you might want to mess with your sleep time. Yep, yep. Uh, and basically, after X number of times, if it's not seen the results at once, that's where the the count will stop. It will just stop doing that one, and it will send you on to the email. We have the email part commented out uh, just because there's a lot that goes into that one. We've got a couple webcasts where we do this kind of – Blogs on it, too. Blogs on this one. Uh, just basically, you're going to need credential objects, and instead of passing it through, we, we uh, went through and created a AES key and a text file. Encrypted it? Yeah, encrypted it. You, you, you shouldn't do that, by the way. This will help us so you're not passing your uh, your credentials through in clear text. Clear text, yes. And then it'll just come through and I'll email you basically say, the service on this computer cannot be started after three attempts. And then you know this is when you got to go take a look at. Okay, right, just a couple other things. And we'll kick this off momentarily because it does run pretty quick. A couple other things you can do. Uh, we wrote one that will stop a process that we didn't want running. In this case, we're going to stop Notepad. Again, you'd want to build a collection to find Notepad, and we're just going to go kill the process. Yep. In this case, and then oh, go ahead. 
Well, on this one, just remember, you did name it a variable which you no longer have created. Oh, make sure you have your variables. Just yeah. kill it. And yes, so you could pass that as a variable. And then deleting the temp folder, you know, we do take in that monitoring, uh, we do do drive size and free space and that kind of thing. So you could actually automatically go out and clear out the temp files. Yep. So all of these you can have basically collection as long as you have more than 75% of your space available. Mm -hmm. It won't show up there. If it shows up in the collection, these packages can run automatically against it, clean up the temp. Same for if anything shows up in those tools aren't running, mm -hmm. that package can run automatically on whatever time schedule you want. And so you don't have to touch anything. The scanner will run on the schedule you set. Mm -hmm. Every time something falls outside of the parameters you want, the packages will be on a schedule to run there and they will correct the behavior. And if they can't correct it completely, let you know. So it just takes a lot more off your plate. It monitors, but you don't actually have to uh, do any extra work. It'll do it for you. You can be lazy. That's, that's the goal. Like us. <laughs> All right. Uh, I would, again, like Jordan said, put this in a schedule. Just be aware if your monitoring schedule runs, what, once every 15 minutes, you probably want to do this, you know, offset it by 10 <laughs> so it has a chance to get data back. And this is basically what it looks like. We are going to go and deploy this to our uh, collection the inventory that we just built go. called sc Scrolly Scrolly. Yeah, called Scrolls. Scrolls, yes. VM, VM tools tool stopped. Yep. Basically, there's Bugs Bunny. Deploy yep. now. And uh, hopefully we won't be getting an email. Well, yep. we won't because we haven't commented out. But this should start the service, and then we would be able to, at this point, run that scanner again. And it would go out of there. And in this case, there's also, on the package, you could have it to automatically run the scan after it runs. So if it runs to start the service, that scan, the monitoring scan, can run once it is completed. Absolutely. And that's where you do this. Well, while that's running, let's just go in here, and we'll go to deploy new schedule. And in the schedule here, again, targets, you're going to make sure you want to choose the same one we picked, which was VM tool stop or whatever services you're going after. And then options afterwards, ch -ch 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 scanning. Uh, copy, run as, where am I? You run and scanning. Thank you. So we want to scan, scan after, after deployment. deployment. Wow. And Thank then you. I'm glad you're here. Select the monitor. Monitoring. And that will only run on the machines yeah. that are actually being uh, yeah. remediated at that yeah. point. So. And that way, instead of waiting for it to run against all machines, whatever one gets remediated is the one that is going to scan once it's done. Yep. And you may want to uncheck the stop deploying once they succeed. Absolutely. Make sure you do that. It well, looks like yeah. step one is successful. Let's just go and quickly run that scan on uh, Mr. The Bunny here. Right click. Simulating, <laughs> this is what the schedule would have done. That's going to take If we had done things appropriately. <laughs> if we... But yeah, yeah, if we did, we that's like, good. We'll just say we did. Don't tell anyone. We'll pretend we did. <clears throat> Again, the more you're scanning, the longer this is going to take. This should yeah. be done fairly quickly. Again. Yeah, uh, we're, we're grabbing, if you watch the other video, you can see everything we're grabbing on this one. It's eight to ten different things. The more compact that is, the faster the scan will go. So it's just one of those you want to really dial in what you want to track, and that way you can get that done that much faster. Looks like it's done. Well, check it out. Bugs Bunny is no longer in VM Tools Stop, which means it's running. And just to verify that, we'll just go out here to Computers, Bugs Bunny. We'll go grab our monitoring, VM Tools Service running. Right. So, All right. So, so do it. Yeah, I mean, hopefully this helps you get set up. You now have the between the two videos, the, everything you need to start mm -hmm. resource monitoring, and hopefully this will give you... This is just the basics of, re of auto remediation, but you can get real complex with this and do some great things. Just think about it. Anything that you would you could go in and do from a command prompt or with PowerShell, automate it. Get out of having to do it yourself. Absolutely. For PDQ, I'm Jordan. And I'm Lex. Thanks for watching.